All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And in this one, it is time to go through my week eight challenges guide with a bunch of awesome stuff this week. Seriously, the challenges this week are pretty crazy. I mean, you've got one where you have to dance in front of fish trophies. I'll show you all of the locations you'll need for that. You've also got, I think, like a whack a balloon slash clown mini game one. I'll also show you locations for those. And of course, like the secret banner for this week, as well as the other challenges. I'm just gonna be showing you guys tips and tricks for every single challenge this week so that you guys can get done with them as fast as possible, unlock the things you need to unlock. And again, guys, remember to keep on doing these weekly challenges because you will need them in order to unlock these separate colors for Dire. I think you need between like eight to nine weeks completed to unlock all of those. And it also gets you a ton of XP. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, be sure to hit that like button down below. Always helps me out and encourages me to make more of these. And on top of that, be sure to comment what tier or level you guys are at. Currently, I'm at tier 100, but I'm at level 65. So I'm getting there. I don't think I'll make it to level 100 but i'm curious to see where you guys are at as well so comment that down below but yeah first of all let's jump into the challenges for this week as always to give you an overview of what they are and what we're going over and the details about this week's challenges are credit to tapohi fl on twitter so big thanks to him be sure to check him out but yeah let's jump into it with the first challenge i want to go over of course we're going to be going over the secret banner for this week as we usually do with the secret banners and secret stars and then for the challenges themselves and as always guys if any of these change simply check the pinned comment down below for updates and mini guides on challenges if they do decide to change for whatever reason. But I think these ones will be pretty solid, like you've got this first one here, which is visit separate named locations in a single match. Got a great way of doing that. Then the whack a balloon slash clown game locations and also maybe shooting galleries. I'll explain what I mean by that coming up, but it's mainly the whack a balloon clown one. And then you've got the stages with use a grappler, dance with a fish trophy at named locations, show you a bunch of locations for that so you can get it done, score trick points in a vehicle, heavy assault rifle or six shooter elite eliminations. And finally, these stages where you have to visit different locations. And the first one is visit Retail Row and Lonely Lodge. So yeah, guys, definitely some very interesting challenges. So let's jump into it here with the first one I want to go over. And that is the score trick points in a vehicle. This one is actually super easy. And I've got one amazing way to do it that I think you guys need to see. But mainly you're going to be wanting to use an ATK or preferably a quad crasher. Quad crasher is by far the best to do this in. And here is why. So the way that I would do it is first of all, go to Greasy Grove. It's at the bottom left area of the map if you need a reminder. But when you go there, you want to head over to the sort of outdoor shop that's in the center of Greasy Grove. The reason you want to go there is because they usually have a ton of quad crashers out in front of the store. So you want to grab one of those and immediately head to the east and find the corrupted zone. The reason that you want to go there is so that you can get one of the launcher things because I believe these protect you from any fall damage you might get. Not 100% sure about that, but it also gives you a launch so you can get a ton of points doing so. But yeah, as you can see in this example right here, I launch into it and then I pull back and use my boost to fly up even higher into the air and also do like a backflip. You will be in the air so long that you'll gain a ton of points so that when you land, you'll get at least like just a ton of points. I got like 850,000 points, so it's by far the best way to do it and that's how you get it done super fast. But yeah, guys, then let's get into the secret banner location for this week. Again, it switches back and forth. Last week was a star, this week is a banner. I expect next week to probably be a star if they continue to do these loading screen challenges, which I believe they will do. But yeah, let's jump into the location here. And also credit to Storm Leaks on Twitter for posting like the loading screen and stuff like that. So big thanks to them. But yeah, let's get into it here with the location of the banner. So basically this one is super simple. And again, as a reminder, if you are new to these secret loading screen challenges, you do have to complete this week's challenges, week eight, all seven of them in order for the banner to show up in the first place. If you go there without completing the challenges, it won't show up. You won't be able to grab it and also you may need to complete all of the previous weeks as well not 100 sure about that but it is something to keep in mind so yeah getting back into it with the location of this one basically it is at flush factory now where you want to go when you get into flush factory is go on top of the main building in the center if you go up here the banner should show up on this pillar right next to the one that has like the parachute on top of it it should be on like one of the two sides i think it's on this side right here but it could be on the other side of it maybe it's on top of it as well now 100% sure about that but it should be around this pillar that's next to the parachute so yeah guys again simply drop into a game grab that and then you'll have to finish the game in some way either get eliminated or win the match for it to count but that should be how you unlock that banner and then after that guys we have two quick ones to go over in the first of which is the visit different location stages like visit different locations in one match this one is super easy and pretty straightforward so I don't really have any tips for you except maybe like trying to do these in I would say disco domination or the new food fight mode 
center. Those ones, a lot of the times, people just go to the center circle, but like Lonely Lodge will be on the edge, so you can fly over there. And also, if it's on your team's side, there's probably not going to be many enemies to keep you busy, so you can just run from one location to the next and get those done. And again, there's going to be a few stages with that. But then for the other stage challenge I want to talk about, this one is a little bit confusing, not 100% sure how it's going to work. We do know that the first stage is to use a grappler, but if the other stages are maybe like use a rift to go, use a shockwave grenade, it's probably going to be something like that, not 100% sure. But like for a grappler, you know, just go into whatever game mode really. You can do disco domination and just like explore the edges of the map trying to loot everything you can to find a grappler. But then when you find one, simply use it and that's how you get that challenge done. Really not that difficult overall. And you can also maybe try to do it when you're doing the Lonely Lodge to retail row one. Try and knock out two birds with one stone. But moving on here to the next one, this is one of the more important challenges of the week and that is the like whack a balloon, whack a mole, clown mini game, whatever you want to call it. It's basically these things right here. It's one of those like mini game type challenges. Like before we had the shooting gallery, stuff like that generally. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that it is this one. It could also maybe be the clay pigeon ones. According to like the things that Topohi FL posted, there's like a slight possibility it's that, but I'm pretty sure it's not because these new mini games are on the map. So let's go ahead and show you where those whack a balloon locations are. First of all, let's explain like what exactly you're even looking for in these mini games. And I'm pretty sure you're going to need like three or five of them. I do know the location of five of them, but like, for example, right here, here is me going into game at one that's near Junk Junction. It's actually at the racetrack for the quad crashers near Junk Junction. And you know, you may be able to knock out two birds with one stone there by getting a quad crasher, maybe getting some trick points while you're going for this uh, whack a balloon. Again, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, as you can see, you simply walk up to it, you activate it, and then these balloons start to, you know, appear on the board. Now, once they do that, you simply want to, you know, hit them with your pickaxe. I think you may be able to use a weapon as well, but you just want to hit a bunch of those until you get the score that you need, and that's how you complete them one location at a time. Now, let's jump into it with the other four locations I am aware of, with the other one being actually pretty close to this one. It is at Pleasant Park. If you go over to that, you will find one next to the football field, and also credit to a couple of these goes to Reddit user Tim Sad, and also Night in 1723 on Twitter, so thanks to them for a couple of the locations, but yeah, there's that one at Pleasant, and then you've also got one in between Flush Factory and Lucky Landing at this house on the hill. It's under the tree, as you can see right there, so that one's going to be pretty quiet and easy to get. On top of that, there's also one sort of near Paradise Palms. It's in between Paradise and Salty Springs at the bridge, but it's on the side that has like the green grass. As you can see right here, you go off to this corner, and you'll be able to find another one right there. So yeah, these are pretty far away, so you may have to, you know, grab a quad crasher or do them in separate games. But then for the final location that I am aware of, this one is near the RV park that's right next to Retail Row. Then the location of the game itself is to the north of the RV park, as you can see. So just go there, grab that one, and that should be all of the ones that you need. If for some reason the challenge requires more than five, I'll be sure to update the pinned comment down below with another location. So simply check down there. But yeah, this should pretty much have you covered. Moving on to the next one I want to talk about here. This is the Visit four named locations in one single match. I have a pretty easy way to do this that I definitely think you guys should know. And this is a fun one. You can strategize, maybe do it in different ways, but this is the fastest way that I think you'll be able to do it. But yeah, first of all, the first location I recommend going to is Junk Junction, or more specifically near the racetrack next to Junk Junction. If you can grab a quad crasher from there, you can use it to go through to Junk Junction, and then you can go over to Haunted Hills. And then once you've gone to Haunted Hills, you can make your way over to Pleasant Park. And that's really close. It's actually not that far away. And then you can keep on and then you can keep on going though to Leaky Lake. That's four locations that are pretty close together. And also, since you're on a quad crasher, that'll speed up the time of you moving between them, unless you want to do something like Team Terror and just use your glider to do that. But then that requires you to sort of get materials, a lot of materials. So the quad crasher is just simpler. But yeah, definitely a fast way to do it. So I recommend trying that out. After that, then though, we have probably the most important challenge of this week, and that is the dance in front of different fish trophies in different named locations. Now, real quick before we get into that one guys if you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because i post these guides every single week generally a day before the challenges are even up and if you don't want to miss those guides being subscribed as well as having notifications turned on is the best way to know about them but yeah guys let's get back into it here with this challenge because i have a ton of locations to show you for these you do need seven but it is pretty simple to do and there's this one that's hilarious so first of all basically how this works and what you're looking for is like this type of fish trophy right here i'm pretty sure this is what it means because when you dance in front of it, it actually like plays some music and it dances around itself. Now this location again is in the basement of the blue house at Salty Springs, but I'm pretty sure these are what you're looking for. Again, if this changes for whatever reason or if it doesn't work, simply check the pinned comment down below for updates. But I mean, 
this has got to be what it means by fish trophies. Now, after that, then, though, the funniest one out of all of these is if you go to retail row and dance in front of the giant one on the front of this store right here. And that is right, guys. The entire giant fish dances along with you, and it's just such a funny thing to see. Now, for some reason, that big one doesn't work. There are smaller ones inside, but yeah, that one's pretty hilarious. Keeping it going here, though, you have one inside of Dusty Diner. You need to go to the second floor and then go into the office right here. There's one hanging up on the wall, and then if you keep on going, there's one inside of Wailing Woods, inside of the bunker, actually. So break down through the floor to get into the bunker, then go over to this area over here. There's a few actually hanging up on the wall right there, so you can grab those. Also, if you go into Lonely Lodge, the actual lodge at Lonely Lodge, there's a few in there that you can dance in front of as well. I'm pretty sure that all named locations have them. At least I would think so. So you could probably even check out like Junk Junction. There's one inside of the main building on the first floor. You go in there sort of like through the garages. Go to this side right here where there's a bed and there's one hanging up on the wall right there. But I for sure know that there's one at Fatal Fields as well. If you go inside of the main house, take a left. There's one above the fireplace. And then you've also got one in Shifty Shafts on the east side inside of this little weird building that you can see. So if you land at that one, that should pretty much be the last one that you need. But if you need another one, there's also one that I know of at Greasy Grove inside of the building at the center. So if you're doing the quad crasher challenge, you can maybe dance in front of those right away and work on two challenges at once. But yeah, that should be pretty much all the ones you need to get this one done. After that, however, you have one final challenge, which is pretty simple, and that is the heavy assault rifle or six shooter eliminations challenge. Basically, what I recommend for this one is to first of all, not even really try it with the six shooter. I mean, you can, but that's a harder way to do it. I would instead try to just get a heavy assault rifle in the new food fight mode, which is such an amazing mode. I mean, how can you not love it? But if you go to like the sides of the map and try and find a heavy, you can then bring it in towards the center. And since you have respawns, you don't risk losing it right away. So you're bound to get some eliminations that way. And again, on the other hand, the six shooter is pretty easy to find. It's up to you, whichever one you prefer. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's guide. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, my week seven challenges guide, and then on the right, another fun video I'm sure you will enjoy. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.